everyone, welcome to today's photo tutorial. Today's tutorial is about a tool called the smudge tool. So without further ado, let us begin. So, sadly for this tool, it doesn't have any shortcuts. So just click on the blur tool and right click on it and move down to the smudge tool, which looks like a finger hitting some waves. So, if we draw a line across here, as you can see, it's changing the image around a little bit, but you need to make it bigger to see any difference. So let's bring it up to about 60-ish size. And as you can see, it's creating a kind of surreal effect. However, there are different levels of strength for this. For example, if you drop the strength down, the effect is less extreme, borderline unnoticeable, unless you do this, go over it over and over again. But at 100%, you can make the image look almost unrecognisable. However, this is far too extreme for me. It can be good for creating some weird surreal graphics, but I don't personally like high strength smudge at all. So we change this. It creates a more linear path that gradually decreases in strength. Although these two appear to be very similar and you can even equip them both together. Which could create even weirder graphic effects. However, just this on its own. Yeah. So, that is quite literally it. There's not really much to this tool. So quickly we covered the smudge tool. How, how it's strength different strengths and size affect it and these two functions here it was really as quick as that I don't know what else to explain about this tool because there's just not much to it apart from perhaps it can be used to clear up some backgrounds that haven't cut that haven't been cut properly so yeah that's it if you found this informative and liked it make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one